This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create an insert mesh brush that contains UV coordinates? So this is a pretty good question. So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a tool opened here that contains three subtools. And each of these subtools here has UV mapping and a texture map applied. If I scroll down here to the texture map, you can see I have a texture map applied. And if I navigate up and down with my arrow keys here, you can see these are the three subtools. Each one of these contains a set of UV coordinates and a texture map applied to it. So now that I have these created, I want to go through and make an insert mesh brush that's going to allow me to reuse these objects on another model. But then I still want to keep that UV mapping and the texture mapping that I already have applied. So how can I do that inside of ZBrush here? So to start off, I just need to turn these into an IMM brush. So I'm first going to frame my model here the way I want it to draw out. So I'm just going to turn all these on and make sure they're all facing the right direction like so. I'm also going to turn off perspective here and make sure I'm in a complete orthographic view. And now I just need to turn this into a brush. So I'm going to navigate to the brush menu here. And I either can click create insert mesh brush, which will create a single insert mesh brush, or I can click create insert multi mesh brush. Now, since I have three subtools here, I want to make sure I create an insert multi mesh brush so all of these subtools can live in one brush. So I'm just going to click that quick. So now you can see I have a new brush created over here. And if I press M on my keyboard, you're going to notice I have these subtools are now stored in that brush. Now, one thing that's really nice, since I created this insert mesh brush with subtools that had UV coordinates and texture mapping applied, I'm going to get these really nice previews through here. So I'm going to get a preview of each of these insert mesh objects with that texture mapping applied. So you can come through and see which texture is applied to these models. So now that I have these done, I just need to pick a model to start drawing these out on. So I'm going to navigate over here and just select this polysphere here. Now to use an insert mesh brush, you need to make sure you have no subdivisions. So I have no subdivisions on this model here. And now I can just simply drag out. Now as I'm dragging this out, you're going to notice that the insert mesh is drawing out correctly. But as you can see, I'm losing that texture information that I had applied. So you may think, well, at this stage, I may just need to apply a texture to my model. So if I navigate here to the texture map tab, and then say select that texture map that was applied to those subtools, you're going to get a little error that's going to pop up. And it's going to tell you you do not have texture mapping for this model. So how can I fix this? Well, we first just need to make sure that if you want to apply any insert mesh objects that contain texture map information, that you apply them to a model that has UV coordinates. So this polysphere right now, if I open up this UV map tab here, does not have any UVs associated with it. So I just need to create a quick UV map for this model. Then I'll be able to apply that insert mesh that has those UV coordinates, and they're going to hold when I drag them out. So to create UVs for this model here, you could come and use the Z plugin UV master, or you could come over here to create and click on either PUV tiles or AUV tile. Now, since this is just a placement mesh for me to drag these insert mesh objects on, I'm not really concerned about having a perfect UV mapped object at this stage. So I'm just going to click this PUV tiles. Now, after you click this, you're going to notice that this delete UV button has now become enabled which means I have UVs on this model. And now I can come through and say, go to the texture map tab here, and then select that texture map I had applied to those original three subtools. Now, after this texture map's applied, you're going to notice that the UV coordinates are a little bit of a mess, and this is just because I used that PUV tiles over here. But since I'm going to hide this object later, it's not really a issue. So now they have a mesh with UV coordinates applied and the same texture map applied, I can now start using these insert mesh brushes. So I can say select this rivet here and drag it out. And you're going to notice that the mesh is going to drag out exactly how it looked before I created the IMM brush. So I can come through and switch to these other models here and keep dragging these out. And as long as you have the same texture map linked to this model, your UVs and your texture is going to show up correctly on these insert mesh brushes. So you can come through and keep dragging these out like so. Now that you have these kind of drawn out, you probably don't want the sphere anymore. So you can hold Control and Shift and click the sphere, and then hold Control and Shift and click it again. And that's going to hide that sphere completely. 
And now I can navigate to the Geometry tab here, go to Modify Topology, and do a Delete Hidden. So now that sphere is entirely gone. I can apply my dynamic subdivisions back, so now I'm getting the exact look that I had for the original subtools. And now since I have this subtool set up with UV coordinates and that same texture map, I can continue adding these insert mesh brushes now, and every time I draw these out, they're going to look correct. So this is the process to come through and use insert mesh brushes that contain UVs on other parts of your model. So you just want to make sure that the mesh that you're drawing these IMM brushes out has a set of UV coordinates established already, and then any UV coordinates you have on your insert mesh brushes are going to hold when you drag them out on your model. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!